From Lowell Park here in Ketuit, I'm Reed Becker with the Cape Cod Baseball League. I'm here with Ketuit manager Mike Roberts. Now, first coach, you guys come into today, first place in the West Division, two-game winning streak. How would you evaluate your team's play so far this year? Well, we've been relatively consistent. Our, our pitching has thrown strikes, and that's always our number one priority. It doesn't always happen, but we've thrown strikes, and our, our bullpen um, has been good, uh, even though there's been a lot of different people with uh, pitchers in and out. Um, and we've gotten some clutch hitting at times, but – uh, all 10 teams are really strong, and, um, you know, it's not how you start. It's how you finish. Going off of pitching, Cam Hill, uh, for you guys, one pitcher of the week a couple weeks back. What have you seen from his play? Well, I had Cam in the bullpen at, when he arrived, which is what he did mostly at Georgia Tech, and he was consistent. Again, he threw strikes. Um, he's, he's developed uh, good secondary pitches, and so – made the decision to put him in the starting rotation. And, and that's really helped us because everybody needs um, uh, quality starting pitching that can give you four or five innings, and Cam has done that. How valuable is it to have Cole Mathis, his power at the plate, and to be a two-way, though, as a pitcher as well? Well, two-way players, I grew up with a lot of two-way players, and mm -hmm. I, uh, I think that's kind of junior high baseball, backyard baseball, wiffle ball. I uh, enjoy uh, coaching two-way players, and – Cole's such a wonderful young man. He's so easygoing, um, but he does have a very good arm. He's a potential pro prospect as a pitcher, and he's certainly a potential pro prospect as an offensive player. So it's a joy to work with him and see his progress this summer. There's been a lot of talk here in Cape Cod this year about the new NIL transfer portal rules, and I'm just wondering, how has it affected your team specifically this year? Oh, I think the NIL has affected the entire amateur uh, collegiate world. Um, you know, I won't get into specifics. Uh, I was a college coach for almost 30 years, and uh, I'm not a fan of the NCAA. I'm not a fan of the NIL because there's no rules or regulations. Um, so, um, you know, it is. So you just accept it, and you move on. You play with the young men, and every manager up here does this. You play with the young men that are here, and the ones who leave, you just – you know, uh, wish them the best as they as they uh, head to their new uh, schools. Do you think that these rules are going to have a negative effect, at least down the road, on either Cape Cod or summer leagues in general? Oh, I think summer league baseball has got lots of struggles going in the future. It depends on the caliber of summer league baseball that someone wants. You can always have summer league baseball, but will it remain at the level that it is now, at least for the Cape League? And I think that's going to be very difficult in the future. Uh, a lot of students are getting NIL money, so they're being paid to go to school, yet they're having to pay their way up here. So I don't think it'll be long before <laughs> clubs will be looking for NIL money and we'll be paying them to come up here. And I think when that happens, probably uh, uh, you'll have major interruptions in summer league baseball. But, you know, that's way in the future. And um, you just you just never know how all this is going to spin or how – uh, professional baseball is going to spin, so we'll just play it day by day and see what happens. A couple of things before we wrap up. Tonight starts the MLB draft. Any words of wisdom or advice for your former Ketuit alumni that might want to hear their name called soon? Well, I've texted and communicated with a lot of guys like Tommy Troy, who will probably go in the first round, and even Ricky Bradfield, who will probably go in the first round, and uh, lots of others, and they're living uh, the possibility of living out their dream, and and being drafted, it's still a lot of work to ever get to the big leagues, uh, even after you're drafted. So uh, we're here, you know, uh, we're here to serve and to help them. And um, we're excited for all of them, the opportunity. And some of them will be disappointed. Um, I was disappointed after my junior year when drafted after my senior year and had to go back to work. And, um, you know, that happens for some. But, you know, we're excited for all of them and um, the wonderful opportunities. I still work in professional baseball. Uh, several months of the year, and, and I look forward to seeing a lot of them in, uh, in the pro ranks. Let's have some fun as we wrap up. 100th year anniversary in Cape Cod. What does it mean to you? You've been here for a while, but what does it mean to be here in this anniversary year? Well, the anniversary year is, 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 is fine. 100 years is a long time, older than I am. And uh, most important is, is the tradition that you keep the tradition and People enjoy it uh, out on this peninsula off of Massachusetts, and we keep it very professional. It's the most important thing for me and, and give uh, everybody, interns, players, 
fans um, a great experience, and I hope that we'll continue to do that. Do you have an all-time favorite Cape Leaf player in honor of the anniversary? No, I don't at all. There's just lots of wonderful young men that have come through here to play. Not um, even that you just coach, but just for the league history in general? No, I don't have a favorite player at all. You know, um, I just think it's a wonderful opportunity for hundreds and uh, certainly thousands of collegiate players. And uh, I just enjoy watching all of them. I enjoy watching the, our players with the Cataliers, and I enjoy watching the players from the other nine teams. What is Coach Roberts' pregame meal? Oh, I don't eat much. Uh, <laughs> smoothie. Um, I, I, at this stage. What of kind? Life, oh, um. Acai. I, uh, I eat acai, acai bowls, and I drink a lot of uh, acai, uh, smoothies with acai in it. So that's pretty much <laughs> my diet nowadays. No late night snack then? No, I don't eat. I don't eat after games. How about a baseball movie? Favorite baseball? Um, Field of Dreams is always, and the only reason is because I always loved playing catch with my father. I loved mm -hmm. playing catch with my son. I love playing catch with my grandson who's up here right now, because I think. You know, playing catch is the is the key uh, uh, to loving baseball, and uh, and it has a lots of lots of um, moments in it where you just enjoy playing catch. Well, pretty fitting that you say Field of Dreams, since Lowell Park is considered the Field of Dreams of Cape Cod, right? It's considered the Field of Dreams of America right now. Uh, <laughs> it, it is the best little ballpark in America. If you look how pristine this place is, and how clean everything is, the restrooms, uh, the dugouts, the field, uh, around the field. Um, there, there's no nicer ballpark uh, in the world um, than uh, Lowell Park to play in uh, on a beautiful 5 o'clock afternoon. Well, Coach, thanks for your time. Best of luck today. That's Katuit Manager Mike Roberts. I'm Reed Becker with the Cape Cod Baseball League from Lowell Park and Katuit.